like some kind of bottle or something. Oh my, what the heck is that? I don't even want to touch this. It's wet in the middle. Why is it wet in the middle? Welcome back, everybody. Clint here today. Matt, what's up? Katie, how's it going, guys? And we are outside the warehouse, at least on the channel, and we are here to bring you another fun, not so spicy day. Thank goodness. I am losers. Relieved again. But uh, it's okay. We'll get you up here with Johnny Scoville. You guys can just sweat your brains out. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we are here today to guess the gat, as what I'm calling it. There's going to be some uh, guns laid out in front of us. By the way, all the firearms that you're going to be seeing henceforth, and actually all the ones that you ever see on video, unless we're at the range, always, uh, have been cleared, triple checked, safety, all that is paramount, especially since we're going to be handing guns to blindfolded individuals like yes. us here in just a couple moments. So all of these will come to us in a clear state. Uh, slide lock back if that's, I don't know what guns are going to be handed to us. Right. So if the if slide I stick opens, my finger backs, in something and it goes smack and puts a ball to my hand, I'm being really salty. That's all I'm saying. You're going to be Instagram famous, what you're going to be. No. Yep. Anyway, with that being said, uh, there's going to be seven guns, and as far as I know, you get a point for guessing the gun, right, Ryan? Right. And then you get a, uh, you have the potential of getting a bonus point if you get the gun's manufacturer. That's right. Sounds pretty easy. Yeah, it sounds simple enough. Okay, sweet. Seven guns. Let's do it. Not going to do good, but it's simple enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's a chamber flag, right? Yes. Okay, uh, in the bolt, just in case, and uh, magazine's removed. Got it. Okay. All right. Gun number one here. Feels like an AK style mag. Feels like, and it has some foam in it, so it's obviously brand freaking new. Feels like an AK. Okay. <laughs> it's a VZ58. Correct. Okay. Uh, check arms. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Next. It's an AK of some sort. I don't. It's an AK, right? Am I wrong? Is that your answer? I mean, that's what it feels like. Okay. Am I wrong? And well, who would be the manufacturer? I don't know. No idea. Okay, so VZ58 from Czech Small Arms. Hmm, makes sense. All right, so gun number one. What was that? Ah, oh, it's a mag. Okay. All right. All right. Let me try this magazine. So it's very curved. Feels. All right, so I think it's 760 by 39 based on the curve of the mag. So I think this is a VZ58. You got it. And who's made by? Uh, it's a checkpoint. Close up, I'll give it to you. Check small arms. All right. Oh, that's small. That's like, oh, I know that. I know that. That's a high point. That, that's a brick. That is. It's threaded barrel. Which high point? It's the Yeet Cannon. It's the Gen 1 Yeet Cannon High Point 9. You got it. Why is it 9? Yeah, dude. Sad. What is this? Oh, it's a magazine. <laughs> I was so confused. Y'all, is this a Yeet Cannon? You got it. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, High Point. You're right. Okay, yeah, chunky boy, slick grip. So this is uh, got a threaded barrel. So this is a Yeet Cannon YC9 from High Point. All right, don't throw it at me. <laughs> All right. Mmm, carry handle gang on deck. Oh yeah. So that's the uh, you know the early car, the GR. How's it called? GAU. It's the GA. It's GAU. It's it's that long ass. Oh, you got it. It's that long name. Uh, but anyway, it's the M4 by Colt, like the early one that the uh, Air Force used initially. 
carry handle gang on deck. <clears throat> Where's the mag at? Oh, you didn't even put the 20 round in it? Oh, there's a freaking chamber bag in there. Hold on. Get that. There we go. Yeah. This is this is peak aesthetic. Except it needs a 20 round mag. Oh. Well. Oh. I know what it feels like, but I don't know the proper term for it. Um it's one of like the it feels like a like a like a M16 or something of that sort. Um but I can't remember what they're called. Like like the old school AR-15s when they started out. That's what it feels like, but I don't know the proper name or terminology for it. All right, who's but, the manufacturer? Oh, I don't know, Colt? You got it. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, so this is the Colt Reproduction AR-15. I don't remember the exact model number because I'm not as good as Clint as far as those military specifications. Is that your final answer? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's the GAU-5 by Colt. So you, we'll say one and a half. Okay, that works. All right. Okay, well, it's definitely a 50 cal. Um, it is a M107. You got it. It is also the 20 inch M107 by Barrett. There we go. There it is. <laughs> oh, some kind of Barrett October magazine. I don't know which one. Do I have to tell you which one? Yes. Freaking A. I don't know. You got Barrett, of course. It's, uh, I can't even remember all the, there's a, there's a 80 something and a 70 something. I don't know. That's too technical. It shoots 50 cal. Does that count? <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Is it, is it written on there somewhere? Can I feel it? Three numbers. No, duh. Most of them are. I don't know. Is it a, it's either an M82, right? That's one of them. That's one of them. And then there's another one that's a 70. Is it no? <sighs> what is the other one? Uh, it's not a 72, is it? It's, it's not. What is the other one? Uh, I don't know. These are too technical. I just shoot them. M107. M107, that's, that's it. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Hmm. That's pretty big barrel there. All right, so I feel this might be a, a trick, but I'm gonna go with the Barrett M82, A1. Final answer? Yep. You got Barrett right. Okay. It's the M107. <sighs> All right, next one. Ooh, this is my Stormtrooper helmet. No. What do you mean no? <laughs> this is the most, uh, just the front, though. I haven't spent as much time with this as I have the, uh, I have a hat on, so that's, you know what, that was dumb. Anyway, it's my Stormtrooper helmet. Got it. <laughs> what the heck is this? That's some kind of bottle or something. Oh my, what the heck is that? I don't even want to touch this. It's wet in the middle. Why is it wet in the middle? <laughs> Where's the manufacturer? Can I smell it? Oh, that's really bad. Oh, this is some hot sauce crap. I can smell it. I hate all of you guys. Y'all, I'm about to quit my job. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is the uh, guard dog bulletproof mask. All right. You got it. All right. Feels like a Glock. Feels like 
Oh my god, the magazine's already out. Uh, that is the... Oh, gosh dang it, chamber flags. I keep forgetting about these. All right, cool, so it's Shadow Systems, definitely. Uh, MR920. You got it. Yeah. Squat bag. That's not a clock, that's a Shadow Systems. Because I can tell by the... That Is that your answer? Well, it's a Shadow System of some sort, I'm pretty sure. You got it. Heck yeah. Which model? Wait, which model? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Katie, hey, which model? There's some numbers and probably a letter. I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't even know what the Shadow System's numbers are. Um, it's like MR or something, probably, because that's what Glenn says a lot. But I don't know if he says Shadow Systems or something. MR20? Isn't that what he says? I really have no idea, guys. Is that your answer? I mean, sure, I don't know. That's right. Yeah. All right. Okay. So polymer frame. I want to say it's a shadow system because it feels Glock like, but there's a lot of cuts on the slide. Um, the SS 109? You got shadow systems. All right. All right. Is that your final answer? Yeah. All right. It is the MR 920. Number six. Okay. Uh, what am I feeling right now? Ooh. Oh. Oh. That. Feels like a. Hold on. Kinda. Every time. I'm gonna guess it's in. Uh, not eight millimeter Mauser. I'm gonna guess that's a 1903 you got Springfield. It. Yeah, dude. I'm not gonna lie. K98 was the first thing that came to my mind. Woo! As soon as I felt that, though, I was like, okay. Springfield. That's why Germany's here. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all know I don't know the name of these wooden things. The old ones. <sighs> this is not good. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> uh, it's getting harder. Well, yeah. Because I don't know the names of this. Ooh, wait. Is this a grand? No. Oh. Hold on. <sighs> Guys, what is this? It's not a grind. Hold on. Oh, which one is this one? I hate this game. Um, it's. Dang it, Bobby! Why can't I think of the name? <sighs> This is making me really mad right now. Why can I not think of the name? Oh. All right, we need an answer. Three, two, one. It's not a Mosin, it's two nights. What is it? It is Springfield 1903. Ugh. I give up. All right, that's... Ooh. Okay. All right, Springfield 1903. You got it. All right, last one. Um, feels like a 1911 mag. Feels like. Hmm. That's a that's a Tokarev. That's definitely a. To oh, let me just double check real quick. Yeah. 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 That's a. That's a. So. Right? That's a seven, definitely. 762 by 25 Tugger Rev. M57. You got it. Yeah, M57 Tugger Rev. Tugger Rev. Um, uh, is it one of the new ones by Zastava or is it, uh, or is it just a Tugger I don't know. So, yeah, you said I got it. Did I get all of it? You got Tugger Rev. Do you know the manufacturer? Of this one? Um, not Tula, not, why can I not think of this? It's a common name, right? Yeah. Mother, ah. Oh. It's surplus. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt myself if I don't think of it. It's in surplus. It's the Tokarev M57. I can't remember. What is it? Trujillo. Oh, son of a gun. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, that's dumb. Anyway, all right. Well, I got all of the bonus points, all of the points except for one, right? Yeah. So is that like 13 points? 13 points. I can math. Sweet. Okay. Oh. Oh. Man. Ooh, this is one of those guns that Matt's going to know exactly what it is. Um. Uh, God, what is it? Y'all, I used to sell these in customer service and... Wait, wait. It's not a Luger, is it? This makes me feel like it is, but that's not a... Hold on. Can I put this in here? Am I allowed to do this? Or... It's not, is it? <sighs> uh! I can't tell from this, because y'all have a chamber flag in it, and it's too slidey right now for me to remove the chamber flag. <laughs> What is it? It's too slippery. I can't get it together. It's not, because the way it slides back. It's a, it's not. Good God, it's definitely not. It's a M80. No, it's not. Hold on. Guys. Ugh, this is really bothering me because I can feel it and like I know what it is, but I can mentally picture it, but I can't. I don't know the name of it. I hate this game. You ready? Just tell me what it is. Okay. It's and it's definitely not a Luger. I'll take that back. I literally just the magazine hole felt like it for like five seconds. It's a Romanian Toker F. I give up. I knew that. I knew that because I used to sell these in customer service all the time because we got a brand new shipment in right when I started. One planet didn't get the caliber. Oh, uh it's really is it the little one? Well, of course it's a little one. Um, 762 by 25. You got it. All right, last one. Okay. Okay. It's a pretty thin. All right, so. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can find the safety over here. Yeah, so this is a Tokarev and based on the grip length, it's not Yugo. I'm gonna go Romanian. You got it. That, you're the first person to get it. How do we do? All right, we're gonna start off with Katie. Katie? All right. Because I lost. Katie, Katie. <laughs> Katie said not me. <laughs> nine and a half. Points. Nine and a half. All right. All right. Out of it's a possible, what, 14, right? 14. Hey, it's more okay. than five. I'm happy with it. All right. Yeah. Point five sure. was from the Colt. She named everything about the Colt without saying the really hard message. No, okay. I'm sorry. It's, I'll never get the letters and the numbers right. I never will. You will. I believe you. Why? I, mean, I, didn't, I, I didn't know the exact designation on that one either. I, again, it's an AR, so it's just all ARs for me. Like, I was like, it's old school, because there's all the things and the, the Carry things. handle gang. Yeah, yeah, and the, the weird little clammy thing that goes over the, the handguard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. clamshell. Yeah. But, but that one's, but that one's yeah. clammy. It goes on like clammy. this. Yes, and like your hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. It's your God. We're gonna go with Matt next. All right. Yep. Matt had eleven and a half. All right. Solid. Okay. So right. that is solid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So where'd that put me? Clint, you had thirteen. Good God! That's oh. what I'm talking about. Mm. It's like his mental, like like how mature he is. It's like a thirteen. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. Whatever. It's his IQ. No, I'm just good uh, with my hands, and I can identify guns, and that. So anyway, uh, with that being said, I think we all learned some things today. Uh, mm -hmm. Good job on calling out the Romanian Tokarev. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, but also, too, the importer is checkpoint, not the manufacturer. Check small arms. I, I at least said check arms. All right. I think that's a fair point. Not uh, one. You were correct, no. but I was not wrong. That's like you I think that's a valid answer. A importer is different than a manufacturer. Hey, newsflash. Uh, Matt's mm. never going to admit he's wrong, so give up. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, all right, I, was, I was happy that I was able to get a point, at least a point on every gun. Like there was, yeah. you know, like, yeah, I lost some points here and there, but yeah. I, was, I was good. It's fine. And you did a good job. Let me do it. All right. So with that being said, guys, how do you think you would do in this challenge here? Blindfolded, trying to guess all these different guns and stuff. If you'd like to see a part two, maybe some more intricate designs, maybe something a little bit more difficult. I don't know. Or 
absolutely ridiculous. I don't know. I, I think Katie's favorite one though was definitely don't, the hot don't. sauce. No. As soon as I smelled it, I was like, PTSD. Yeah, I saw you put your hand in it. I was like, oh, don't touch your face. You know, I was like, mm, no, that you would, do that. Yeah, not words me. of wisdom, because uh, you know he's experienced. Yeah, hey, I've experienced that. Don't yeah. do that. No, not a good time. Don't but play uh, on it. Mm -hmm. all right. So anyway, uh, again, we'll see you guys down in the comment section below about how you think you would stack up in this challenge. And on top of that, this was also a viewer recommended. Right. We saw challenge. a lot of people. Yeah, it's like, hey, do try to do a blindfold gun one, whatever. So yeah. yeah. If you want to see like a part two to this or other types of uh, challenges or whatever the heck you want us to do, just let us know down in the comment section below. But you know we are reading your suggestions. That is true. And on top of that, if I may may, rec may make a recommendation. Can I make a recommendation? English. I just don't want Can it to you get rid sometimes. Of your mustache? No. That was uh, my recommendation. I, I cannot. I lost a bet, and I'm. It was it was a drill weekend. I well, I'm calling your wife so she can shave when you sleep. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> All right. Anyway, just uh, nothing pain-inducing, please. Um, uh, but anyway, from there, I think that's about it, guys. So, uh, hey, we'll see you guys next time on Outside the Warehouse. Say bye, guys. Bye, bye guys. guys.